Hi everyone, Olaf and Carolina here and today we are going to tell you a little more about B2B marketing best practices. So in the next couple of minutes you are going to learn about how to optimize your existing website, what to do in order to come up with a plan for your marketing and how to implement the processes that can turn your business around and make you hundreds of thousands of dollars. So stay tuned, stay with us because this video is about to get interesting. Okay, so let's start. And we have to start with plan. I think that everything should be organized. Because I don't know if you know this, but uh, Carolina is a Monica Geller from friends, just by the way. <laughs> yes, I am. And I believe that everything should be organized and your marketing also. So first, you need plan. You need to have marketing strategy. You have to think about KPIs. What is important for your business? What is important for your marketing activities? You have to think about channels you have to think about your website about your social media mm, you have to think about what people do on your website how they get on your website or social media or youtube channel and you have to think about skills what your team can do and what they like to do maybe one of your calling is best in creating making uh, reels or tiktoks and another one is great copywriter so you have to think about your team about your kpis and about your different channels but don't get scared about it because it doesn't have to be super complex it usually starts with like having a meeting having a brainstorm writing down the goals what do you guys need to achieve how do we get there what is the budget that we can use for it it doesn't have to be super enterprisey level complex kind of a thing you just need to start and regularly update your plan in order to be successful and don't be afraid because lots of these things you can outsource so if you don't have team you are one and only don't worry you also can do it when you've got your marketing plan you can go further and i believe the second important thing is your website because well-designed and user-friendly website is crucial for your marketing activities and Olaf will tell you how to optimize your website. Optimize or just build from scratch. It doesn't matter where you currently at. Website nowadays is crucial when it comes to making business online and getting customers through B2B channel. According to Gartner, around 80% of B2B sales process and part of the B2B sales decisions will happen up until 2025 only through digital channel. If your website does not convert, if your website is worse, non-existent, you have to do something about it. The efficient website should not only be the business card of your business, it should also be a conversion funnel for your customers. So if you want to build a good website or if you want to optimize the existing one, you should take a couple of things into account. First and foremost, your website should be SEO friendly, meaning that written content should position your website in all of the major search engines like Google or Bing in top spots. Of course, this is not easy to achieve, especially if you are just starting, but the truth is you can find the sentences, you can find the keywords, and you can find a lot of the things that are niche and that will put you in this top five, top 10 spots in Google without the necessity of battling those enterprise level competitors. So there are tools, uh, very useful tools to do keyword research and i think we can tell you a little bit more about these tools in the next video what do you think yeah i agree yeah that's that's super important topic but also a broad one so we don't have time for it today the another thing that you can that you should actually take care about when it comes to your websites is analytics and first and foremost and Karina will agree, trust me, she's crazy about Google Analytics. Yes, I am. <laughs> you should have Google Analytics properly implemented on your website. You should have goals for conversions. You should be able to discover the paths that your customer is traveling through your website because this will be 
one of the key points for you to optimize the content, where it's located, how it's positioned, and so on and so forth. And I think the, mo the most important thing is how your customers convert and from what piece of content the conversion is happening. This is super important. Another analytical tool that you can use is, for example, Hotjar or Crazy Egg or any other tool that you can use to view heat maps and observe users' behavior on your website. Where they click, what is the most engaging part of your website, what are the gaps and the things that you can optimize in order to improve their experience. These are all super important things and those tools can help you monitor users' behavior and observe what you can do better in order to improve their experiences and therefore improve your conversions. And the last thing that is mostly overlooked by a lot of people on your website is to ask your visitors ask them the questions how did you get here what are the things that are most important for you what are you looking for on our website these can be gold mines for your business and for you as an entrepreneur to discover the topics that you should be telling more about or maybe even products that you currently do not have in your portfolio but you can add in order to make more money and grow your business. So before we jump to the next topic, if you are finding this video interesting, please subscribe. Exactly. This will help us grow the channel and also reach more people like you that need help with their B2B marketing. Another topic that Carolina will tell you a little more about is a lead magnet. It's not enough to simply present your product and service and hope for the best. You need to have something that attracts your potential customers. And this is lead magnet. This can be uh, ebook, free online video course or a webinar or any other piece of content that's both valuable for your audience and related to your product or service. You offer lead magnet to attract your potential customers in exchange of their email addresses. So why do you need a lead magnet? First, and for me the most important thing is that you can build your email list and you can use this email list for sending newsletters, information about promotions. About... Invite people to webinars. Yeah. Yes, exactly. So this is first and for me the most important reason. Another one is that you can target the right audience because if someone is interested in your service, product, topic, you can catch their attention with your good lead magnet. Because if someone does not have a certain keyword or a phrase in mind, they will not Google this immediately. But if you will present them with a piece of content, let's say an ebook about the problem that they are currently experiencing, this can be enough of interesting piece of content for them. So they will leave the email and then you will have the opportunity to keep on messaging them or how do we say in marketing, nurture them for them to visit your website and eventually, of course, convert. We've got campaign that generated almost 400 email addresses in one month. And this is a very cheap way to build your email list. So you've got your plan, you optimize your website, you've got lead magnet, but you need to have processes because without processes, everything can be a mess and chaos. As Olaf said, I'm Monica Geller and I hate chaos. <laughs> That's so true. That's so true about Monica Geller, but it's also true about processes. And I'm also process crazy when it comes to running businesses. And with the two companies that I've been managing and I'm managing on a daily basis and with performance uh, also that we are managing together, we believe that having processes in place from the very beginning is the one and only thing that is super important and it's above everything else for many, many reasons. First and foremost, if you are working with a lot of freelancers, which in our opinion yeah. is a smart and cheap way to do a lot of things around marketing, if you don't have enough of a budget, then onboarding a next freelancer, onboarding a next person can be a very cumbersome task. In order to save time, you can just have written down process that will enable you to onboard these people very, very quickly. And same goes, of course, for the new hires in marketing department. Another thing that is super important in order to be consistent with your marketing efforts is to have a media plan. Mm. If you don't have a media plan, people will be just posting or they will not be posting. And if you want them to be consistent about it, if you want 
the topics that you are communicating to the world about new products, certain service, something that you want to increase sales in the upcoming months with, you need to have a media plan that will be tailored and aligned with the strategy that we have mentioned at the very beginning. This is super important and also following media plan and implementing media plan can be tough, but be consistent, remind people about stuff that they need to put out there, that they need to post and trust me, the effects will be visible. Yeah, but you have to remember that you need to include some things in your media plan first. People, topics, publication date and channels. Because if you are managing multiple social media accounts and nowadays you have to have at least few of them because there are so many marketing touch points that you have to take care of multiple channels, then it becomes not manageable if you don't have a proper plan and processes for it. Another thing that is super important when it comes to marketing processes is to have regular meetings, regular meetings with your team, with your managers, in order to discover the things that you can optimize, in order to bring to new ideas to the table, and in order to get people focused on the goals that you are trying to achieve. Otherwise, like Ms. Geller said, <laughs> this is just not manageable and it becomes chaos. And last but not least, the thing that is super important, especially in marketing and especially in digital B2B marketing, you need to have reporting. You need to have reports and you need to have data that you are regularly looking at. If you have the Google Analytics implemented that I've mentioned when we were talking about website, if you have your media plan and you can see who published what at a certain period of time, you already start to have reporting. You already get an idea about Okay, how many posts have generated how many visits on our website? What is the conversion rate and how our lead magnet have affected mm -hmm. the conversion rate? And what is the amount of users that is visiting our website and how it's increasing over time because of, for example, our lead magnet or our social media posts? You need to observe certain KPIs that Carolina have mentioned at the very beginning of the video in order to see if your marketing efforts are requiring some attention in order to discover the pitfalls or potential pain points that you need to optimize, look at in order to improve your marketing. Yeah, and I think it's great to compare marketing uh, reports with sales reports and see how they match together. Exactly, because if your marketing is generating enough leads, you also need to see and take care of what's coming up next. But this is also a topic yeah. for another video <laughs> exactly. about how to manage the, the B2B sales and about how to take a proper care of leads in order to improve the conversion, in order to maximize the conversion and eventually, of course, make you more money for your business. So I think that's all when it comes to yeah. processes. Okay, I think that's all for today's video, but we need to sum up some things. First, you need to have plan. You need to have a marketing strategy then you have to optimize your website. When you've got these two things, you can think about lead magnet. How to create lead magnet for whom and what it can be. When you've got these things, you need to have processes for everything because without processes is a mess, big, huge mess. If you find this video interesting, please subscribe our Performance Digital Channel. Give us a thumbs up and if you have any questions whatsoever about either B2B marketing or B2B sales, ask them in a comment section down below. We are also dropping some useful links below the video in the description. Please check out our website and, you know, let us know if we can help anyhow. So thanks for watching and have a great day.